Iron-on vinyl gives you the ability to make any smooth fabric or paper water resistant. Make your own laminated fabrics to create placemats, tote bags, seat covers, aprons, and more. If you're looking to add vinyl laminate to your next DIY project, here is how to get the best results. Pre-wash your fabric. Even if you don't intend on washing the finished project, you want to wash off any finishes that may be on the fabric. Do not use fabric softeners. Whenever you're working with iron-on interfacings, always make sure you test the adhesive on a scrap piece of whatever material you are working with before starting a larger project. Preheat iron to medium heat. Do not use steam when adhering vinyl. Always use the protective paper as a barrier. Do not touch the iron directly to the vinyl. Peel away the protective paper. Place the vinyl sticky side down onto the top of your material or whatever side you want to be laminated. Then put the protective paper back on top of the vinyl with the waxy side facing down. Lightly run the iron all over the surface of your project to warm the adhesive slightly and make sure that everything is in place. Firmly press and hold the iron on the protective paper for about eight seconds. Move the iron over slightly so you are just overlapping the area you worked on and repeat until the entire surface is laminated. Flip the project over and iron the back of the fabric for an additional four seconds. Repeat until the entire surface has been heated. If you are laminating both sides of the fabric, now is the time to repeat the process on the other side. Make sure you are being mindful about not touching the iron directly to the vinyl. If you need to, at any point, you can use a press cloth or parchment paper. Allow the material to cool completely before sewing or using. When needed, wipe clean with a damp cloth. If you absolutely have to, you may wash on a gentle cycle and line dry. If any peeling or crinkling occurs, cover the vinyl with parchment paper and re-iron 